I'm a dummy. It's been such a long hiatus that I forgot I'd use my damn mic. Uh, one second. Make sure that this is good now. Okay. I think we have it adjusted, right? I think we all have everything back to how it was. be good just going with the higher gain and just staying further away. Let's see. One minute. Now nah, we're good back down. We're good back down here. So it's a bit of a delay in what I hear back, and I want to make sure that I hear it right. All right. Anyways, without further delay, let's select Fidelity versus Performance. Of course, I'm going to go Fidelity. Oh, probably aren't allowed to stream this part. Whoopsie. Uh, oh, House Fanatic School Robe. That's fine. Yeah, I did get the PlayStation Network stuff. We got that, pre-ordered it. Ooh, I need to get the steelbook for this game. It's good. It's an exciting way to start a playthrough. Oh, second, just let me mute YouTube for myself. There we go. Okay. Now, I know some people will not like that I'm playing this. Don't not like it. There. Okay. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. I stay I remember the fifth year, fifth year freshman. He's very successful now. This is not a bad thing, people. As you may be aware, the decree for these lower restrictions. However, El Eliza Fig. <coughs> okay, so I've already been accepted to the school, but they're saying that I need a special tutor to help me be good enough at magic to get to the school. Makes a lot of sense. If you don't think about it. Ah, here we go. Can I make a hot chick? Or are they all, like, kind of flat? Eh, kind of flat. Hmm. Let's see here. I don't care about face. I don't care about hair. No, I'm just kidding. I am going to go back and do all these things. I just want to see. Voice to... Okay. So you can't change anything else other than the face. Okay. Well, in that case, let's be a fellow. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This dude looks prissy. Ooh, he looks kind of evil. He looks like a different kind of evil. He looks like a nerd. He looks like a jock. It's like a strange amalgamation of a lot of things. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. I don't even know what that is. That looks like Justin Bieber's rejected cousin. Uh, I think we'll just go with this guy for now. Let's see here. Get rid of those damn freckles. Can we not get rid of the freckles? We need to go whiter. Whiter! I'm wearing glasses. Of course we have glasses. 
Ooh, half moon spectacles I like. Only three glasses options, really. Hmm. Well, we'll do it. And then, ah, I kind of like that one. Kind of like that one. I give my everything. Yeah, I'll keep it simple. Oh, wait a minute. Hair clear. Heh. Just make him look like an old man. I am a fifth year. <clears throat> this is my natural hair color. Yes. What do you guys think? That's pretty close to mine. Not so much that, nor that. That's more like if I had a lot of cats. Generally unhappy with my life. I think that's pretty close. And that's even how I like to style my hair a lot of times. Holy shit, it's kind of close to how it is right now. Yeah, get rid of them freckles. Ain't no freckles on my boy. Ew. Moody, moody, moody. All right. How is complexion a left-right issue? Oh, I see. It's like more flushed. I am. No, he has perfect complexion, just like yours truly. Now. Ah, the eyebrows, but of course. Color. Well, this is where I'll definitely get away from my true self. Make him look like a freak. Ooh, that's kind of a cool combo. Reminds me of some anime girl. She has red hair and green eyes. God damn it, I can't think of who. Let's go with the one on the left. Yeah, that's close enough. Ooh, the unibrow. Mm -hmm. Looking at my own eyebrows. Close enough. A little thicker than mine, but that's okay. Yeah, I just want a story. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A few cobwebs and some dust. <laughs> Nothing to be concerned about. <laughs> well, it was wonderful. I'm eager to get to hold. That was quite something. The fuck? A few cobwebs and some dust. It just sounds Nothing like I'm talking about. through a voice filter. That was quite something. Why they all a few so cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh. Well, I suppose I could make myself a witch and see all them witches, but it's okay. I'm not a prevert. Not gonna do that. Let's see here. We'll make him have a normal voice because those wonderful. other ones sound like they're putting I believe through thirty-six I'm really going filters. To enjoy Albus Dumbledore. Um. <laughs> Merlin's beard. I'm trying to think of Black Clover characters. <laughs> ah, I can't think of any. I mean, obviously Captain Yami, but I really don't watch that much stuff with magical stuff. Let's just call him. <laughs> you 
You're not dealing with the ordinary dark wizard anymore. Oh, hey, man, what's up? How you doing? Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Is Professor Newton around? Oh! <laughs> Get it? Fig there Newton? Are. George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. <coughs> I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When you I know at this point Raoul, in history, I could I be hung best not or hanged here, Eleazar. Of course. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have what? a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I'm going to say I made a pretty handsome fellow. your traveling companion oh, I'm a pedophile thank you for asking you yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year How yeah. extraordinary you're rather it dull is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Pushes him out of the well, carriage. Learn to fly, boy! You for a better mentor. Professor Fig oh. is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> <laughs> Calling me a brown news, are you? This? Very well. About a cadaver. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Ragnarok. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She, she died about and Ranrock I was alert. before she died. Wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks oh, like to turn this little dial right here. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. It appears is quite insane. 
Let's kill him. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. and spend the whole game trying to get it back. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. It's a green Stuff herb from Resident Evil. Second. Oh, that's good shit. What happened? It's alcohol. Oh, George. I can't believe he... Died? What the hell got into that damn dragon? thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Mm, we're known for their uh, calmness. So, where are we? I'm not sure. Look around, look around. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Hmm. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But uh. stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Why? Why? Hmm, <clears throat> my mistletoe candle smells great. He take us cool. farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, Man, how the fuck do you know that? See what a cliff. He was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason, and I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't this guy mind took the death of his me, wife in stride, I'd like to man. have a look around. Absolutely, like, sir. Good. Oh, she must have died, Let's I guess. Let's see if we can oh, find yeah. a path, however faded it may be. Even in the carriage, he's just like, oh, it must mind have been the last step. thing she said, because she was about to die. Where do I you guess she died. your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few. Hmm. to have been lost to time.
Hogwarts castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where. Oh God, that's awful. Into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Uh, now there's something else to correct. Display subtitles, yes. Definitely headphones. Hitch. Yeah, that's fine. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, where would I just... Oh, I forget what I was even coming in here for. Ah, yes. Just talk about the Kimmich starts moving in the station position. Excellent. And what the hell, let's go with performance. Oh, that's much better. The game doesn't even look any worse. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Yes, what a wonderful lesson. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus sir, you on weren't the supposed center. to see that. I was talking about your wooden wand, sir. Oh. Oh, boy. Excellent. Yes, work your wood, boy. Fling it around for me. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one no works improving with every shall car. Escape my Thank breath. you, sir. Die, sir, die. Yes. <laughs> Old man, I'll take your wand, and then I shall be the main character. Ah, up there. I'll beat you. We're close now. It's just ahead. Hey, back here. Beautiful. Steady yourself. Repair. Well, that seems like a lot of power. Sir, I've defeated all the pots. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. He seems to misunderstand how port keys work. They're designed to a specific location. They don't have a choice in where they take people. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. 
Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. You're interesting. Whatever. I see the path because I have a mini-map, sir. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. All right, enough with the pots. I don't think I get anything for that, so let's just move on. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Man's oh, beard! Why would someone <coughs> have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. I didn't see that either. What in Merlin's You're name? the chosen one. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. We're in Hogwarts. It's a way to get in the school. Hello? Oh no, we're in the bank. Okay. <clears throat> it can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. To you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Yes, I've seen Harry Vault Potter 7 part 1. Was Thank you very much. shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides mm. in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault got number big hands. Vault yeah, 12. Body. 
momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Goblin uprising. Goblins. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. The he watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Well, I'm sure we will by the end of this game. Last time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 <coughs> until today. Excellent. Vault 12, thank you for your help. Are you going to shut the door behind us and go, It was my pleasure. Because <laughs> I feel like that's what's going to happen as soon as I step inside of that door. And I really wish Admiral Akbar was here. It might be a trap. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. So, uh, I wonder if you The might... instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That wasn't quite was what I predicted, but it was pretty damn close. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. A revealing charm. Really? No time like the present. Let's That's see a very what we're coded charm. Here. Revelio for revenge. And focus. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. To the obvious wall? Yes, I would imagine you would. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... Oh, just I touch do, it. Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Right. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you oh, we gotta get a job? Our way out. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Boy. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Cool world. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Uh, Are you all right? No. Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? 
I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Ta-da! Lumos, well done. Oh. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Stay close. Lumos. <laughs> Revelio. Professor. Professor Fig. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Professor. Where am I supposed to go? Where do I go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Seems I have no choice. I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here. Protego. Triangle during Protego to stand. Revelio. Lumos. Excellent. <coughs> Revelio. Lumos. Aha, a big version of that symbol. Excellent. Now we'll get some answers.
Well, Professor Fig is dead. Floating above that basin. Mm. That is no mere basin. No. That is a pensive <gasps> for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Gandalf. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are yes. correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge. Excellent. And the responsibility uh, that accompanies it. That's me. We've done all that we can. Oh. Why do you look so different if you're brothers? Let's put our little sperm memories in here. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces Obviously. of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had. Miriam Webster Dictionary, of course. But could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Mm, that's and nice. you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We mm. were all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who yeah. were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems Big. my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. Hmm. I have no patience for traitors. Damn. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. I'll do anything. Just let me live.
And to Hogwarts we are. Are you all right? Fight no, I'm not all right. We almost died. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Well, no, he Where had to block it. are we? Very clearly he had to block it. <laughs> it can't be. It is. It Hogwarts. seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Oh, that little hint to the John Williams score. Come. Wonderful. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. <coughs> <coughs> So, ah, the Forbidden Woods. This is cool. Dude. It's a little house on the lake. That's interesting. That's how you do an opening title. That's how you do it. Hell yeah. the sorting ceremony of course we haven't I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate oh now he's just I like need to study this as a clothes as beam. As I can, but first I must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock for the moment I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me of course sir thank you ready for the sorting ceremony yes sir Oh, that's true. Dumbledore's not the head of Hogwarts, is he? Or headmaster, whatever. I don't know who it was before. Phineas, him. Nigellus, Black. <gasps> Prepare yourself to meet Sirius the Black's headmaster. Grandfather? Great grandfather? Fig. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were <gasps> complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. <laughs> Most unorthodox. Nothing, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Oh, I'm the most proper British <laughs> man ever. I'll be in and touch. I do not appreciate your lack of properness. Now come. I shall twirl my mustache while the sorting hat sorts you. Quite. <gasps> Harry Potter? Professor Weasley! We've one more to be Weasley? Sorted. This is just a bunch of name dropping at Welcome. this point. You're just in time. Have a seat. Yes, let's get Professor Snape, Professor Slughorn, Professor. Aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. Mm -hmm. But your mm -hmm. professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Right. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something mm. in you. 
Yes. A certain sense of... Mm, what mm. is it? It is... A desire yeah. to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that well, which I'd say I'm clever. Not clever, uh, curious. And you have a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. That's the one I go for. Yes. Intelligence, creativity, and wit. Well, I don't mean to brag, but yes. Mm. You belong in Ravenclaw. Yes, thank you, thank you. The entire hall applauds for one kid who's late. Makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Ah, another clothes beam, just like Piccolo in the Dia Bridge series. That kid has a lot of freckles. I'm not gonna hang out with him. He's a loser. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch Steve in Jobs. last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Ah, of course they put that in there. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But, don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic future. What is this poverty-ass school? Sure are there like 26 kids in this class? Classes begin tomorrow. I said... I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Really? Just gonna cut dinner short like that? What, are we running short on food budget? It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see yes. to it, sir. Yes. And make sure they realize how common it as really I was is. Saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. Yes, As I think your family will be poor first, soon, it is my somehow. It's honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Thank you. It's quite mm. uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm stupid, I'm sure I know. You're up for. I am, Professor. No. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. What if you can't solve it? You just have to, like, not sleep that year? Who or you have to sleep longer? in the hall? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? Uh... A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. What? So the ghost, right? Because the poltergeist is a well non-being. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, collect Professor me. Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I'm sure I will. Please go away, you creepy old lady. Anyways. Oh my gosh, it's the longest cutscene ever. He just slept in those same clothes. Looks like it's perfectly normal. Gone. Perfectly normal. Let's go ahead and save here. Boom. 40 minutes in. All right. I'm going to get one more drink for the night, a night cap, if you will. I'll be back in just one moment. Don't go anywhere.
Potter world. Potter? I have to admit, common room. most games now, I can't really tell the difference. Fidelity versus the performance as far as graphics go. I can definitely tell on the frame rate. Now, to be clear, I don't think that that's an overall thing with graphics versus frame rate. I think developers are getting kind of lazy on the frame rate. I think they're making it go well below 30 on these uh, graphics modes. Because like Insomniac with the Spider-Man games, the fidelity mode looked wonderful. And it was a big difference in graphics. These ones, it's still the same kind of flat environments. So I think it's because they're cross-gen. Well, no, it's not because they're cross-gen, because it was that. <laughs> this should be interesting. Fuck, do I know their names? One moment. Watch this. Sup, nerd? Ugh. What is this? Someone <laughs> threw a dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. Really? I'm over it, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. I don't like you, And you survived you, a rather harrowing trip here. Yes. Wait, how did you already know about that? <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are fun but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Traces it back? You did it in plain fucking sight. What are you talking about? You're an idiot. This kid's drunk or hearing voices in his head. I don't know what's up with him. This is a madhouse. A madhouse. I wouldn't change to Gryffindor. Oh, what's this? Revelio. Ah. Yeah, whatever. the right spot are you talking to me please talk to me not about me to your fucking plant i want him to be in the perfect place a place he'll be happy with but i can't seem to find it great golden gobstones i want him to thrive here golden are you gobstones? my mother <laughs> my own little expression. I bought this Disney seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. I Disney do not is amazing, care. isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. I, I, <laughs> I have a bit know. of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's pleased it's to meet you. Creepy. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Disney used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks ah. like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor no, I just Fick drink the told shit me about and the see what happens. Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Mm. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, Thank isn't it? Thank God I'm not Ordinary, in that class. Ordinary, perhaps, but it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. Wonderful. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. <laughs> like a plant. Wonderful. God, I hate you already. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our Professor potions Garlic? master, cares really? where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. Yeah, he likes a good brew, I'm sure. It was nice sure. to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Any teacher Thank does. You. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. 
Yeah. Isn't everybody's first day? I mean, I guess just for the year, That's but just still. Brilliant, Ami. Brilliant. Shut up, you Ami. Think you could? Ah, that is not. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I'm getting some Picard season two flashbacks. Holy fuck. I look to the stars and I see wondrous things. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. Schedule. I have good news for you. You are most I'll definitely park the carriage in the garage. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing uh, you. If by fresh hey there, parchment you mean. Never mind. Is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. Mm. Professor Weasley. How are you? <laughs> oh, it's that Ravenclaw bitch. Yeah, the one from the Horcrux. Yeah, cool. Ruby is it's it's like they're all like alliteration, right? It's like Hebrew Hufflepuff and God Gryffindor. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year. You'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Yeah, Especially I got as this. you'll be expected to complete I your two, OWLs right? at the end of the year. OWLs? Just call them owls. Owls. Yes, Thank you. your ordinary wizarding level exams. Mm. They will determine what type of career I will become you have an aura. When you After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure Ooh. your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to Wonderful. take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I'll take this resource and put it on my schedule to study in the Thank garage. You, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. With the invention of video games, you will understand what I'm talking about. This way. It's basically a convenient way for you to The guide watch will give you opportunities progress. to practice your magic and educate yourself <clears throat> about wizarding law. How'd you get in here without knowing the riddle? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. A hundred years ago. If I'm being generous. Why don't you cast Revelio on this button Revelio. and see what details the field guide can provide? You've just unlocked a field guide page. Very well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Aha. Excellent. Hogwarts regalia spectacles. I'm gonna get a pair of glasses for my trouble. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Clever. Rebellion. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Oh, look, the pictures move. That's cool. I like that. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Yeah, yeah, I'm being dumb, bitch. Hello. What's this over here? Ah. Rebellion. faintest idea. What? Ah. Okay. Oh, but yeah. Okay, 13 plus the Hydra is 21. All right, so as it goes around, we're going to have There's the spider. Okay, the spider's towards the end. Wow, this is weird. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and try every possible combination because I'm a dick. Aha! <laughs> I have no idea what the pos what the puzzle was. I'm an idiot. Mm-hmm. 
Oh dear. Ah, here we are. I can wear gloves and have swagger. Ew. Thank you very much. Oh no. Ew. Ew. What the? Am I wearing my pajamas? Ridiculous. Let's go, Professor. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. PS5 solid state drive on display. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Revelio. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Beautiful. Station, so to speak. I'm not entirely in agreement with what you're saying, but I do... That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and Ronan. entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Mm. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. It's pretty self-explanatory, kid. I don't know why you need that explained. Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Mm. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Mm. Yeah, in the future, I feel like you you're going to have four Hogsmeade, and four years. Professor. Hogsmeade is the only mm. all wizarding mm. village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. Mm. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. I want sort of Thank age. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Indeed. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Oh, yeah, more Judging work. by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, 
I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Mm -hmm. Speak of the devil. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Ancient magic. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Oy vey. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Hey, yes, you Professor. Weird spying lady. Come find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments. Mm, I that's mentioned. okay. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Ooh, Hogsmeade. Revelio. Rebellion. Protego. My brother. Hmm. Rebellion. Hmm. Why does the ministry require an major? Very well. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? I hope I didn't say too much. Ooh. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say... I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and a With good reason, boy. It was to keep the details to yourself for now. Yes. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share mm. details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Mm. Now... As capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Yeah, yeah, just Speaking point me in the direction, guides, old man. And so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, Ooh. why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Whatever. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention more than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Hooray! Rebellion. Hello. I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. I don't know but what those words mean, painting. but... painting. 
I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. <coughs> something more to this. Okay. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. Oh, yeah. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been mm. racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Well, I am a man. You may step aside do now, woman. Rebellion. Something illuminating. Protego. The mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Hmm. That statue. A staircase. I was worried transfiguration would be too difficult. But it turns out I have a knack for switching spells. <laughs> Rebellion. Protego. Transfiguration is hard. Rebellion. Rebellion. All right, let's find this spot. Professor Weasley. Her wand work is exquisite. Oh, my. Oh, my. Revelio. You certainly sound like you have an opinion on this. So we have a white pillar statue to the right. Hello. This looks like the location from the painting. Ta -da. What could be so special about it? Revelio.
They must increase in an ever consistent pattern. So the dragon or the Cthulhu head uh, plus eleven equals twenty one plus a question mark. So then the spider looking thing, Medusa looking thing. Uh, so naturally it increases from right to left. Rebellion. <clears throat> I've taken to studying during the day in our dormitory. No one's there and I can practice my like transforming a rabbit into a dinner. Where the hell is the other variable? I know it's around here somewhere. <clears throat> Transfigure my parchment into a blank. Aha. Okay, we got the Hydra right now. The Hydra. lost track of it. That was it. Half a bottle of flabbergasted leech. No, no, no. Revelio. Lucky guess. Okay. So the other one was the Hydra. This one was the spider. Eh, it won't show me the puzzle, so I don't know what the solution was. Boom. Now, was it two pinches of Angelica? Hello. 
Revelio. Hey, we got the uh, library mapped out. Revelio. Hey, a chest. Awesome. Boom, gold. Revelio, 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 Revelio. Hey, there's something, there's something. Potato. Lumos. Okay. Hush dude library. Revelio. Revelio. Wait a minute, but I'm pretty sure that I got that. Well, there's the lock I cannot pick, so... Gotta be that I revealed this fucker. Come on. Revelio. Revelio. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and call quits there for tonight. Hope you had a good time. See you next time. Till then, stay plus ultra. We will be back tomorrow with more of Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you. See ya.